So chapter six is all about probability. So the first thing we need to start with when we're thinking of calculating the probability of a specific experiment is what that experiment looks like, its outcomes, and what are sample spaces and possible events. These are all things I'm going to define for us momentarily. So here's an outcome of what we're going to cover in section 6.1. So first, comes to first things first, it's always a great place to start with definitions. So for example, an experiment is an activity with an observable result, right? It allows us um, to, co it's any process, any process that allows us to obtain observations, take measurements and collect data, right? We're building our way up to statistics, but let's start with probability. Um, so for example, it could be, an experiment could be flipping a single coin. It could be flipping two coins, right? I can take observations if I flip a coin. I can see, oh, did I get heads or tails? Um, I can take measurements, right? I can count the number of heads or tails. And I can collect data because maybe if I flip this coin 100 times and I get mostly heads and very few tails, I could determine that my coin is not a fair coin. A trial is a single or fixed number of times an experiment is conducted. And each possible result is the outcome of an experiment. So for example, if I flip, my experiment is to flip a coin once, I do that once, that's my single trial, and my outcome would be heads or tails. The set of all possible outcomes of the experiment is the sample space. So again, if I'm flipping just one coin, I would have heads and tails. Those are my two possible events. And so my event, we'll see that represented with an E, is a subset of the sample space. So that could be heads. I could have an event that is tails. And if we have more than one event, we don't want to label them all with E, right? We want to use a little subscript so we can tell them apart. So for example, I talked about flipping a coin. So my trial is gonna be one coin flip and my outcome was heads. Next, I'm gonna allow a rat to run a maze, maze containing three possible paths. So for a trial, our trial is just gonna be one run through and the outcome was path one. Um, next, one thing I could do is calculate the amount of rainfall in New York, New York each year. So my trial could be one year and the outcome for some year would be say 37.23 inches. So these are some different ways to tell the difference between an experiment, a trial, and an outcome. So the set of all possible outcomes, like I already said, is the sample space. Um, and each outcome is an element of the sample space. So if I was to flip two coins, at the same time, what's my sample space? What are the options I could get? Well, I could get two heads. I could have a heads and a tails, a tails and a heads, or two tails. That would be my sample space. And sometimes you see that denoted with a S. So let's say I have an experiment that consists of throwing two dice. One dice is red and one dice is green. And what I want to do is I want to observe the numbers um, that on the uppermost face of each. I, guys, I just want to find the number that they land on. Math books make things so complicated. Okay, so what's the sample space of this experiment? What are some things I could roll if I had two die? I could roll a one and a one. I could roll a one and a two. I could roll a one and a three, one and a four, one and a five, and one and a six. Okay, so those are all the possible outcomes I could get if I had a one first. What if I rolled a two first? Well, then I could get a two and a one, a two and a two, a two and a three. I think you see where this is going all the way down to six. Six four, six five, and six six. Awesome. So this is my possible 
This is my sample space. This is every possible outcome, right? And we have each pair regarded as an ordered pair of numbers where the first digit represents the red die and the second number, the green die. So let's double check to make sure we got it right. Awesome, and as you can see, this sample space has a size of 36, right? There are 36 different outcomes. This is a six by six square. So I've got 36 different outcomes. An event is a subset of a sample space, okay? We say that the event occurs when the outcome of the experiment is an element of our event. So for example, let's take a look again at rolling two dice, and I want the event that the sum of the numbers is greater than nine. I also want the event that the sum of the numbers is seven or 11. So let's go ahead and find this space E1 first. So E1 is gonna be, we're gonna circle it in red. How's that sound? Yeah, so we're gonna circle it in red. So I need any number whose sum is greater than nine. So here I have a sum of seven. Here's a sum of seven, sum of eight. Here's a sum of nine, but I want the numbers that are greater than nine. So I ignore that one. Here's a sum of 10. Oh. This one also adds up to 10. This also adds up to 10. So one thing I want you guys to notice, because I just think it's kind of cool, hearkening back to Pascal's triangle in chapter five, is that the sum of this row is two, three, four, five, six, seven, right? That's why you can roll the most sevens. There's the most opportunities to roll a seven. Eight, nine, 10, 11, and last but not least, 12. Sorry, that was a little sidebar for you guys. Um, cool, so my E1 is gonna be everything that adds up to 10, everything that adds up to 11, and everything that adds up to 12. So I have my E1 is the point six four five five four six five six. 6, 5, and 6, 6, right? So there's six different elements in E sub 1. Next, I want the sum of the numbers to be 7 or 11. Let's circle these guys in green. So I already pointed out to you that this entire beautiful diagonal right here is where all of our sum is 7, and this too is where our sum is 11. So E2 is going to contain all of the points I've circled in green. So I've got 6, 1, 5, 2, 4, 3, 3, 4. Remember, these are not the same because one of the dice was green and one of them was red. 2, 5, 1, 6. I'm getting sloppy. Uh, 6, 5, and 5, 6. But you don't want to write and in your set. Beautiful. 